continue to harass this unfortunate victim, having been told a number of times not to do so. You also violated the mattress in order to leave her alone by getting on the internet and continuing to harass her. Over the years, I've dealt with many cases like this. And without exception, the defendants usually don't leave the fire burn because you can tell them to leave them alone and they will invariably go back and do the same thing. Now, this victim very graciously is permitting you to plead under the one year statute with jail time and one year's probation. You understand that? Yes, sir. Now, I want this between me and you and I want it abundantly clear. Yes, sir. Given the victim's statement that she wants the end of this thing, wants no further publicity, doesn't want to harm you and your father, I'm going to accept this recommendation. <clears throat> but I want you to know in no uncertain terms that we're going to be watching you like a hawk. And the first time I have any indication or inclination that you are violating the terms of my order to leave her or any of her associates alone in any way whatsoever, I'm going to revoke the entire year as soon as I can put my hands on it. You understand? Yes, sir. I dearly trust that you will not permit me to have to do that, but I will. Can you put this aside and go on with your life and leave her and her friends alone? Yes, sir. sir? Yes, sir. You understand that that's my concern? Yes, sir. 